Welcome to Charts Today. My name's David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 15th of June comes to you from London and uh, markets settling down after a, a really bad few sessions on the run. So uh, the dollar index is actually pulling back, just hitting that resistance around 105. Uh, so it's quite interesting that we are we, we struggled here in May and we are just pulling back from that, but it looks like we will break that. And we've got, of course, this short-term target pointing higher. Remembering this is my weekly, my daily, and my 60-minute chart, my long-term, medium-term, and short-term view of the market. I'm running on Refinitiv Icon, but of course you can run up data on dozens of different data services. Uh, so it's really agnostic to where the data comes from. Uh, looking at the energy mix, we're seeing quite a bit of green on the screen, and we'll cover that in a minute. And looking at the alerts, uh, quite a lot of interesting targets there just kicking in. A new one for Brent crude just come in uh, now on the news alerts. So uh, interesting to see how that's um, those alerts are coming in. So looking at the dollar, we're strong there. The euro is, of course, weaker against that stronger dollar. We're bearish below the cloud on all three time frames meaning that we're bearish. The yen, uh, we're seeing at 134. This is our lead indicator for the dollar. And we <clears throat> moved much higher there, so really quite key. Sterling sitting at 120.73, so really just falling away against that stronger dollar uh, as well. Looking at sterling against the euro, 115.20. So again, sterling weakness becoming quite a feature there. Uh, Bitcoin sitting at $20,000. Uh, who would have believed that it was only uh, a few days ago we were at 30000 So we're seeing a 50% fall away there. Quite significant. If we look at uh, the S&P 500 index down 0.4% last night uh, after three really big days, some 7% fall off in the last few days, uh, and of course testing new lows there. So the fact that we were weak after such a fall away just shows the inherent weakness in the market. We are seeing the futures up this morning, up about half a percent on the US futures. So it looks like we might just see a little bit of buying interest, but uh, really catching these dips now is a mug's game. The fact that we're making that lower low through the cloud and long-term chart, we are in a bear market. The VIX volatility is sitting steady at uh, 32, but the fear index above 30 means that we are fearful. Uh, and if we look at the FTSE future, up slightly there this morning, up just under 1%. The DAX in Germany up 1%. So markets just recovering on some bargain hunting, but really uh, brave people buying these downtrends. <clears throat> Japan was down 1.2%. The Hang Seng was actually up 1.4%. It has actually uh, fared better the last few days, but of course it's had a terrible 12 months. Uh, the uh, the Indian market down slightly and the Aussie market continuing to fall, really playing catch up uh, to the rest of markets and moving into bearish territory there as well. We'll look at the energy mix in a minute. Wheat is down slightly. We've got coffee down 2%. So we are just seeing some of these soft commodities coming off a little bit but not much gold sitting at 1823 uh, the key numbers for gold now are 1800 uh, we're bearish below 1800 and 1875 we'd be bullish above 1875 so just watch those key levels that's really what's going to count now silver uh, has had a terrible time sitting at 2140 still bearish below the cloud now on all three time frames us 10-year yield sitting at 3.4 percent that upside target to 4.1 activated 3.6 is the next level so really quite interesting there that we're just seeing yields pushing higher and higher uh, the weekly energy mix we're looking here at Brent crude down this morning we're bearish below the cloud we've got downside targets just being activated along with that target that we talked about US nat gas sitting steady at 725 massive fall there yesterday on news that the Freeport commodities is going to be months rather than weeks the Freeport LNG terminal closure so that's just really hit um, gas prices in the US now we're seeing a glut of shale being stuck in storage. Uh, looking at coal, we're sitting at 220, holding on there. And if we look at emissions, uh, we're sitting at 8550, uh, looking more strong there. And we, we were bullish out to clients this morning. Above 85 is good news for emissions. We've got to break 90 to be really long term bullish. Uh, gas prices have been moving very sharp in the last few days. We are seeing a little bit of a pullback now this morning. Uh, we were neutral out to clients this morning on gas. And then we look here, we see that um, the same as well. Uh, looking at German power, that's recovering, having I mean, bounced on 220. And that's starting to look a little bit better. We've got a new upside target not yet activated. Keep an eye on those targets. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting.
See you then.